I've been doing some work on black holes recently, which I hadn't started last time I saw you, actually. So I got interested in it. And the, the amount of the progress that's been made in trying to understand how they work and, and a question that was posed by Stephen Hawking a long time ago, really 1970s, early 1980s, which is what happens to stuff that falls in? But the simplest question you could possibly ask. Right. There's progress being made on that now which I think is profound and exciting. How is the progress being made? Like, how, how, do, we, how do we study a black hole? I mean, it's mainly theoretical, although um, we, we have now got photographs of them. So we have two photographs, which are radio telescope photographs. Right. One of the, the one in the center of our galaxy, which is a, a little one. It's called Sagittarius A star. A little, it's, a, it's a little supermassive black hole. So it's about six million times the mass of the sun, which makes it a little supermassive. <laughs> and then there's another one, the first photo that was taken, it's a collaboration called Event Horizon. And they took a, a photo of one in the galaxy M87, 55 million light years away. That thing is around six billion times the mass of the sun. Can you imagine that, 6,000 million times more massive than our sun. <laughs> 